Should be all good. Hey guys, another unboxing video today. Um, today's game is going to be the Elder Scrolls Online. I got the Collector's Edition. Um, this one I actually didn't open yet. The Diablo I had open, so everything you guys are seeing, I'm seeing it for the first time too. So, I wanted to share this experience with all you strangers that I don't know. And yeah, I mean, just to be the guinea pig to see if this Collector's Edition was really worth it. It came with the, uh, it had five day early access pass. I pre-ordered it from GameStop. It's like when I went into the GameStop that I got it from, I went in there and it's like I walked in, I just knew, I mean, you can't miss this box. It's probably like literally like foot and a half, almost two feet tall. And I see it on the counter and I'm like, I know this has to be mine. <laughs> it, there's no way. And I told the guy I was there to pick it up and he was like, oh, yep, we got it, man. You're like one of the only people that got this. He said that a lot of people wanted it, but they waited too long to pre-order it, so I guess I lucked out in that sense. So, now I'm going to look really stupid and not know how to open this box, so don't laugh at me, please. Don't hurt my feels. There's tape on the top and bottom. Alright, top slides off. Got that plastic covering there. Got some designs on the back a few extra things you get so exclusive collectors uh, wait exclusive collection of digital content includes you're able to play as an imperial you get the white imperial horse you get a little mud crab vanity pet and you get the rings of mara you complete the ritual of mara with a friend and receive an experience bonus when you play together so all that stuff is like digital comes in the game the stuff that's going to be in this box is molag bow statue i think that's how you pronounce his name you get the Improved Emperor's Guide to Tamriel, a 224-page illustrated guide that I probably won't read, or well, I'll probably look through it, but I'm not going to read it. Premium Map of Tamriel, a printed map detailing Alliance-controlled zones, and the Ultimate Conquest, Cyrodiil. Pretty cool. So, I might put that to use, actually, because I really do plan to get into this game. I really, really, really would like to play... Um, to play, uh, or put out commentaries actually. Oh, okay, so, oh sweet, so you actually lay it flat down, open it up, okay, okay, yeah, okay, so what I figured, the reason that this box is like two feet tall is because you literally do actually get a statue that I don't even want to open because I feel like I'm about to break it. I feel like a little kid opening an action figure out of the plastic, like, I don't want to yank it out and break something. Maybe if I stood it up, kind of, you could like, get a glimpse of it that way. I'm going to try to take it out. I'm going to make sure, ah, oh, that's why. It is like a little kid's action figure. i got to sit here and untie it from the back. Oh, damn, Elder Scrolls, Bethesda. They didn't want me to get to the statue. They made a cast proof. It's retard proof, I can't even open it. What the hell? Wow, I feel retarded, I'm sorry. That I can't even open an action figure. Anyway, we'll just go right ahead into it. I'll try to get that open in a second. I don't want to have to watch you guys watch a 15 minute YouTube video of a kid trying to open a statue. By the way, I'm going to be 21 tomorrow, so all of, the, all of you who think that I'm probably 14 or 12, I'm actually going to be 21 tomorrow. I had a lady, I work at a, a credit union, which is pretty much a bank. A lady came in today and was like, how old are you? I was like, uh, take a guess. She was like, I don't know, you look like you're 12. I was like, well, damn, I'm going to be 21 tomorrow. She's like, oh, wow, you look a lot younger. So I, I get that a lot. I'm probably going to be ID'd until I'm like 50, but whatever. So, this looks like it's the map. It's pretty pretty cool. I mean, it's not like the most detailed map ever. I hope you can get a good view of that. Try to move it around a little bit. I mean, really, it's just a basic outline. It kind of gives you the region, Skyrim, Cyrodo, Morrowind, Black Marsh, all that. Um, it's not, like I said, detailed or really broken up. I mean, they have some shades to kind of, like, break off the different alliances, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. I'll probably end up putting that above my computer desk. 
I mean, the map itself isn't hard to remember, especially if you've played Elder Scrolls games for a while and you've been used to it. Wow, pretty sweet. Got a nice, got that, that tin coating on the CD case. Very nice, got four discs. Um, I don't know, I guess these are to download if you wanted to. I mean, you could just download it online if you have the code, but whatever. Oh no, quit looking at my codes! What is this? Imperial Edition Exclusive Code in the Explorer's Pack. Ooh, I better put that in before y'all go and try to steal my games. Can't steal my games, damn it. Yeah, and then you got some controls. So you get your codes, your controls, advertisements for another game. Wolfenstein, I'm not going to play that, sorry. More instructions, game registration code, all that good stuff in there. And now, damn it, I really want to open this. Ooh. Ooh. We got the, the base of the statue, which is probably also going to take me another five minutes to open. Come on out of there, you little bastard. Alright, yeah, so it looks that's gonna be the base, and then I guess this is his tail. Got Molag Bow's tail. So yeah, if I can if I can ever get this open, I'd put it together. I might have to get scissors here in a second. To keep going with that. And it looks like last but not least, eh, you're gonna get the book. Um Open it and see what's inside. Ooh, it's so cool. Wow, it actually has like leather straps up at the top. Like, this is like really like, this is leather. Holy shit. Shit. So, hopefully that's not too up close to the camera. But, um, wow. Legit book. Said it was 224 pages, so all kind of good stuff in here. It's look how big these pictures are. That's how I like my books. I hate reading when it's a bunch of words. I just I just make myself sound stupider and stupider the longest this video goes on. Guys, I'm actually really smart. I'm not that stupid. Tip. Right. But anyway, yeah. So like I don't even know what this book is supposed to. B. It just has a bunch of random information in here, different creatures, different areas. They got this really cool red ribbon bookmarker. That's a, that is a legit, that's really cool. I do like that though. So, I don't know if I'll ever read this or look at it, but um, hey, it comes with it. So if I want to, I got it. Um, other than that, yeah, I think that's about it. That's the last thing that came in the box. So, let me... Finally try to attempt to get this thing off. Look at this. Look how they did this. I want to show you guys how they tied this damn thing. They put the two straps behind it. So, like, I just couldn't simply twist it off. Like, I'd have to actually pull this from underneath. Damn, you know what? I'm just going to get some scissors. Even though this feels like it's, like, fucking metal. Oh. Eh. I'm sorry guys, I wasn't expecting something like that. Let me grab some scissors real fast. Goddamn Betty Cracker scissors. Alright. Alright, let's prove that this isn't Kaz proof. Hopefully. Yeah, give it shit. Alright, sweet. So it took me a pair of scissors to get that open. No big deal, right? Right. So put one foot there. Put the other one here. Oh, my statue's all chipped up already. It's all good though. And then got to stick his tail in his back piece here. There we go. Yep. All right, sweet. Yep. Stick the tail in his ass, and we're good to go. Bam, got a Molag Bow statue with the map and the book and the cool little tin and all the online exclusive content. So now I got this super cool statue to look at. 
I'll actually give you guys a close up of it. Looks like it's Molag Bao. He's holding up a little a little Skyrim guy. Yeah, he's about to get owned, so that sucks. But other than that, yeah, pretty cool. He's holding a gigantic mace that looks pretty wicked, so I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Probably put it up in a shelf somewhere, but um, as always, thank you for watching my video. Um, I always try to put out some kind of unboxing videos when I get new stuff like this, so I don't know what I'll be getting next after getting Diablo, the Alienware, and now this. If you ever want to watch those Diablo, the Reaper Souls Collector's Edition, I do have that video up, and I do have the new Alienware 2014. That video is also in my library or video list, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, so yeah, if you want to, check those out. Um, I don't know exactly what more unboxing I'm going to be doing for any more games that are coming out recently that I actually want. But um, yeah, hopefully I can get some actual content of this game out. That's kind of where I'm headed. I really, really like this game a lot. It's been a while since I've been into an actual MMORPG, so should be pretty good. Um, yeah, again, thanks guys. Um, hopefully I didn't make myself look too stupid this video. <laughs> I don't try to do that. It, sh shit happens. Shut up. Just stop laughing at me. Blah.